I don't know if you can tell, but I love this cat. So I made her a little bed with some canvas up here on the tractor. She's got the fan on her. I got her very early in 2013 and she was so small. She fit in the palm of my hand and I had a little tiny bottle and I would buy bottled cat milk or canned cat milk from Walmart and feed her out of the bottle in my hand. So one of our viewers suggested a spring and there was a like a shoulder in here that the spring would sit on so there's a little 3 8 99 cent spring from the hardware store so let's try this see if that makes any difference I got a pound of Silver Queen. So try that. Sweet corn needs fertilizer. So. Some 10, 10, 10. Fertilizer that. I do have the hopper covers for these, but I can't watch the seed plate turn with the hopper on, so I never put them on. Here's my lawn mowing crew out there. This, the sheep are working. This tractor is actually um, pretty special to me for a couple reasons. One is like the sounds of it remind me of my brother's Super C. Like when I was little, it just reminds me of hauling out wood with my dad. Like the sound of the, you know, the muffler flapper clicking. Um, you take your foot off the brakes, the sound of the metal. It just you know, the, the gear wine, it reminds me of that time a long time ago that I absolutely hated when I was doing it, but now I wish I could do it again. And the other reason, my wife calls this my freedom tractor because I bought it after my divorce when I was free and clear. And so, my freedom tractor. So I'm going to plant the rest of this today with Silver Queen Sweet Corn. The whole thing's about 200 feet by 75, I guess. And so this right here is where I went last time. So I need to set over a little bit. Everything looks like it's turning really well. The seed plate's not binding up anymore. Hopefully it's been working. I can still see seed coming out. So that's all I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you for watching.